Previously we got a question on how we can use the high technic color sensor to follow a line in the Evitri software. We built a simple program after adding the high technic color sensor to our software. Check out the previous video on how we can do this. Now after we build this program we got a question on how we can follow a line using two of the high technic sensors and this is the subject of today's video. Now the program worked in the following way. It was a simple program for one sensor. It was a high technic color sensor. We don't have the high technic color sensor currently so we haven't tested this program but uh, I assume I assume that the block measures a color and it returns a number an integer for different colors and I also assume that for black it returns one and for white it returns six so when we detect black we stop one of the motors and start the other and when we detect white we actually change the motor so we stop one of the motors start the other and this is a very simple program for following a line with one color sensor now if you go to the FOCAST site and you search for follow you see a number of programs developed for following lines first is this episode one how to align and follow a line with two light sensors and it was a very simple um, video for NXT or the NXT version of Mindstorms. Now, now we've revised this uh, a couple of months ago in, in January. It was requested by Matt Gibson and it was how to follow a line with two light color sensors for EV3. So this here is another tutorial for following lines. Uh, now I'll follow the same principle as in this video 75 to implement following a line with two Cover sensors, but this time cover sensors that are high technic cover sensors. Just as a reminder, when we are following lines with two cover sensors, the robot would look something like this. We have uh, one of the motors here, one of the motors here, and we have this is one of the sensors, this is the other cover sensor and we have the line we have the line like this so whenever we are following a line with two light sensors let's say that this is motor a and this is motor d and this is cover sensor one and this is cover sensor two we move forward and when we detect the line with color sensor one we must turn the robot and we must turn the robot left so motor d is moving forward and motor a is moving backward this is when we detect the line with the first sensor with sensor one the same principle applies for detecting the the, the line with the second sensor with sensor two if the line is something like like this then we have to turn the robot in the opposite direction and this continues in a loop until we reach the end of the line so how how does this look in the program let's first implement the switch out at the cover sensor here so i have two cover sensors and i'll remove the loop uh, First, the robot is moving forward and if we detect the line with color sensor 1, it's that high technic color sensor, if we detect with color sensor 1, then we must turn the robot in the following way. We just delete this. We take the, the tank and let's say that we have motor a and motor d so this here are the two motors and we detect the line with the first color sensor we are over black so we are turning the robot how do we turn the robot 
we rotate both motors for a number of degrees. Mm. No, the tank is not our block. This one here, it's more clear. So A and D. Now we rotate, let's say, motor A backward with minus 50 as power. Minus 50. And motor D we rotate forward. So we are turning left. We had motor A here and motor B here. And we rotate for, let's say, 30 degrees. This is whenever we are over black with the first color sensor. But if the first color sensor detects white, the case here, then we must check the second color sensor. We have a second color sensor that's connected on port 2. And we again check with this sensor. If we detect that the second color sensor is over black, this is the case when the color sensor returns 1 and the if is right here, then we must rotate the robot in the opposite direction. Again, motor A and motor D and we rotate motor D minus 50 backward for about 30 degrees. Of course, you can customize the degrees, you can customize the power, you can change them and uh, and inspect the solution on, on the field. Uh, finally, finally, uh, when we have the second color sensor over white, then we must just go forward. There is no need to turn any of the motors. We just go forward with both motors for unlimited amount of time. Just on. And it's motor e, A and motor D. Again, the program, this here is motor A, this here is motor D. I'm drawing with the mouse, so excuse me. And this here is sensor 2. So we have sensor 1, sensor 2, motor A, motor D. And we have the line like this. When we detect the line with the first color sensor, this one here, then we turn motor A backward and motor D forward like this. And we align to the line. Then if we detect the line with the second color sensor, we do the opposite thing. We rotate motor A forward and motor D backward. And if none of the sensors detect the line, so I assume that we are over white, then we just move forward. And that's the whole program. Now, if I add this program in a loop, first I'll switch to, to flat view. And here, so that we can have more space. And now if I add this program in a loop, like this, we would have a very simple solution for following line with two high technic power sensors. Again, I welcome any comments. We don't have the high technic power sensor currently, so we haven't actually tested this program, but uh, I did a number of assumptions and I think that this program works. Uh, of course, the, the values might be different. If you have other questions and suggestions for a video, share them below in the comments. You can find this program in the comments. And don't forget to join, create an account and receive notification whenever we build a new video.